Kirigami, coming from Japanese words kiru, cut, and gami, paper, it's uh, the art of cutting paper, and it is particular branch of origami, also referred to kiri, drawing off, differentiating by origami by absence of folding the paper. The origins of kirigami reach back to antique China, where they practiced the art of jizi. The jizi covers all techniques of folding and cutting paper. Subsequently, the jizi has spread around the world and has suffered several changes. Of this art appeared in Japan, the other arts as origami, the kumigami, the kiri, the kiri and the kirigami. Because kirigami has not had a major influence in the world outside Japan, there is not much documentation on this art of handed paper. It is known that the oldest use of kirigami was done in religious ceremonies and in temples, mainly Shinto. Subsequently, there has not really been any evolution. Kirigami has always kept its traditional values while following the progress of his nearest relatives, origami. Today, the most popular sign for kirigami is a flesh square hung in several Japanese temples. Its modern popularity is due to its flexibility. The kirigami can be found simple shapes, bidimensional, or even complex three-dimensional. In 1925, the School of Architecture and Applied Arts Bauhaus in Weimar introduced some uh, games of paper cutting in the preliminary design course of Joseph Albers, who was lecturer of this course together with Laszlo Moholy Nod. The exercises focused on the tactile sculptures, mechanical sculptures and folded paper had as a goal for students to achieve artworks with limited resources without glue or stamples, plastic components and structural qualities by the simple action of folding and cutouts. These concepts are still relevant and guide many talented designers. The kirigami is spread worldwide, even if it has not as great recognition as origami. In maps, they are opened and an image unfolds. In children crafts, for example snowflakes. In abstract art of paper cut and folded. In the arts of printing. In some museums, especially in Japan. Into system books. Adventure of Kirigami workshops in the Multilateral Communist Project Archi Teaching was suggested in November 2011 by Vlad Niku, teacher of new technologies and informatics at Mihail Kogonichamu High School, the coordinating institution. And uh, he was also the first to teach the pupils of this institution how to use this technique in order to create models of buildings. This activity was filmed and the documentary movie became a source of inspiration for the other partner schools. In this way, at Wansu, in Romania, in Skrunda, Latvia, or in Spain, at yes, Turaniana, pupils and teachers tried to transform paper in architectural visions. Of course, 
this Kirigami workshop was absolutely necessary in Portugal because all the eight partner institutions with their representatives, pupils and teachers had the opportunity to get new skills, to compare their techniques to the trainers and to start creating complicated models. In fact, it's a delicate balance between solid lines, valley fields and mountain fields used to obtain three-dimensional effects on paper. It is a very important activity for the aesthetic education of the children involved in the project, which allows them to consider buildings from an abstract point of view and also to recreate towns, villages and streets cooperating with their partners, using foreign languages and trying to better understand each other.